I have a question, a query, a quandary that has been burning at the back of my skull like a ball of hot plasma, sitting there turning my mind, my very smooth and cute pink brain into a ball of ash. I wear this question like a pair of cement shoes, and I sit at the bottom of a lake, and on top of that lake is yet another lake. Now let me explain. The fish, they start to nibble at me, and it's slightly uncomfortable as I let these shoes sit on me, the shoes that are this question. But if I release these shoes, I become ever more buoyant, flying up into the lake above and above. In the second lake, the lake above this lake waits for me. Piranha. They're going to devour me bit by bit until I am nothing. Until I am nothing. Not bone, not flesh, just nothing. So this question is for you. A question, not a statement, not a fact, a question for the piranha. When you go to the candy store, when you're sitting there at the register, and you look upon the confections, the confectionery cuisine that is placed in front of your eyes, do you grab the Reese's peanut butter? Cups. If you walk to a gas station looking for some health and sucker, do you go there for the express purpose of eating a Reese's peanut butter cup? Now I have to ask this, do you unwrap it? Do you unwrap the Reese's peanut butter cup? Do you take it off like you would take off clothing of your partner before you engage in some dubious acts that may make somebody of the Christian persuasion go, whoa, do you eat the Reese's peanut butter cup? I'm not asking if you engage in coitus, with the Reese's peanut butter cup. I should make that very clear. I was making an analogy, an allegory, a metaphor for removing the wrapper. It'd be very uncomfortable if I was asking if you had sex with a Reese's peanut butter cup. No, that's not the point of this question. And now you're uncomfortable. Look at what I've done. I've made you uncomfortable. I've made you weirded out. I, 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 I've I done something that I didn't mean to do. I was just engaging in my own thought palace wrapped in my own wrapper. And no, I'm not now saying that unwrapping me is like engaging in coitus with me. I, I'm not saying that. That's not the point. I'm not, I'm not saying that you should do that. I'm married. I'm a married man. I love my wife very much. What I'm saying is, do you go somewhere? for the express purpose of enjoying a Reese's peanut butter cup. Now that's not the question that's been weighing me down into this under lake. I'm asking when you eat it, how does the peanut butter taste? Is it creamy? Is it yummy? Is it scrumptious? Is it yumptious? Do you like the taste of this peanut butter cup? Do you exalt in its flavor, its taste, its texture? Do you scream into the air like you do not care? Do you look forward to this candy? Is it your favorite candy? Is there no candy that tops this candy on the candy mountain that is your taste? Do you love Reese's peanut butter cups? Now that's not the question, that's not the burning hot ball of plasma. Neither, once again, just to reiterate, is do you have sex with a Reese's peanut butter cup? I'm just, that's not the point of this whole thing. That I just, I need to make sure that I make that clear once, twice, thrice. That's not the point of this. I have to ask you, does it taste like vomit? When you eat a peanut butter cup, does the peanut butter taste ever so slightly of vomit? And is this a problem? Is this something that I should see a doctor about? Now, before the big 2020 event, it tasted like vomit. So before you get snarky and smarky in the comments below, I would like to ask and reiterate once again, does it taste like vomit? Does the peanut butter taste like 
Barf, does it turn to ash in your mouth? Do your taste buds work against you ever so slightly, turning and changing as you grow older, realizing that everything that you once loved was a Reese's peanut butter cup, but now it is just empty, vacuous like space. There is nothing there. Existence is pain. And it all started with a Reese's peanut butter cup. Everywhere you look, everywhere you see, everything you see is always getting worse, getting worse, getting worse, getting worse. It's not getting better, better, better. It just is always there. Colors become less colorful. Life becomes less meaningful. And all because one day, you woke up. You had a great day that day. You got a big glass of water. You brushed your teeth. You showered. You toweled yourself off. You got on a pair of spiffy new clothes. And you sat there waiting, wandering in the car on your way to work. And you stopped at a gas station. You said, I'll treat myself today. Today's the day that I say, hey, I want to eat a Reese's peanut butter cup. And then you grabbed one off the shelf, you paid for it with your hard-earned dollar, and you put it in your mouth, and it tasted of ash. Now let me ask you this. Is it weird that the peanut butter cups taste bad, but the holiday ones taste fine? Like the normal peanut butter cups, I can't eat them, but if I get like the Christmas tree or the pumpkin or the egg, if I eat the Reese's egg, then I, it just is fine, it tastes good still. Like, is it is it just me? Is it something in my brain that's broken? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that scares me. It terrifies me to know that I'm always working against myself. I'm always fighting myself. I'm always fighting myself off. It's like I'm playing Gears of War 2 horde mode. But all the locusts are me and my thoughts. And I don't have a gun, I just have my fists. And I just keep beating them down. One after another, after another, after another. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if this can be fixed. I don't know if I can fix this. I don't know if I can learn to enjoy Reese's peanut butter cups, but I, I know that I'll have to move on to other candy, to other things, try to find enjoyment in those, and if they too turn to ash, well, it'll be a too late situation, and I may just stay with the cement shoes.